Yep, we love our polynomials, right? So let's look. This is a difference of squares 1 because <clears throat> 8 is not divisible by 3 and neither is 4. So, and they're both even, which is great. So I'm taking a look at what is it that's squared to give us 25, which would be 5. And we need some x to some power, which is squared, which would give us 8. That's going to be x to the power of 4. Now this is all minus. And now we're looking at the 81, which is 9 squared. And then I've got y, which is some power squared, which is y squared. Y squared squared is y to the power of 4, which is what we had originally. So the difference of squares tells us that a minus b, uh, if we have a squared minus b squared, then we have a minus b times a plus b. So we can replace a with what's there in green. I'll replace this a as well. And that was 5x to the power of 4 in both cases. Of course, you could have done this by uh, factoring by grouping as well. Is it supposed to be to the power of 4 in the second equation? Yes, it is. It's a nice recovery. And I got 9y squared and 9y squared. Well, 5 is not a perfect square, so this one's good. We're, we're done on this one. How would you do it by grouping? So are you just adding uh, 0xy? So would it be x to the 4th and y to the 2nd? Yes, that's excellent.